right oh folks so there's these cookies one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen a baker's dozen there you go my ingredients are uh, just lightly brown on the bottom and at the moment they're still warm and they're, they're just a little bit um, spongy on the touch just to give you an idea but I'm gonna I'm gonna leave them out for a while and let them just cool down and dry out a bit and uh, I'll see because I don't want to overcook them and I haven't done this before I am NOT a professional treat maker I guarantee you that this is my first attempt at making some cookies I hope she'll enjoy and I've watched quite a few YouTube videos on how to make horse treats I'm going to put the ingredients once again like I did on the first video this is part three I'm going to put it down below each step each part of the video so one th each <coughs> part will be the ingredients down below in the description box but uh, if I can just tell you off memory um, there was one cup of cooked oats there was um, say about half a cup of plain flour there was um, about a little bit over maybe but about a cup of bran um, flaky bran um, I guess you can use you know ground bran whatever I don't think it's going to make too much difference just to have a little bit different consistency um, I used one large apple finely chopped two medium carrots finely grated um, a spoon of chia seeds you can use less I used um, I think it's about three large spoons of manuka honey you could use organic honey or if you don't have honey I guess you could use molasses but anyway that's what's gone into these I've also put some um, hemp seed protein in those and I uh, just basted the trays with sunflower cooking oil and I've cooked them so now they're done they were in there I think on about 350 degrees Fahrenheit I think it is um, and I left them in there for probably about half an hour 20 minutes half an hour and that's all you want I haven't actually got a timer working on the oven so that's about all you want there so they're just a little bit springy to touch <clears throat> I don't want to overcook them alright so anyway we'll see you later horsey lovers